Hi friends! This is Miss Sarah from the Milwaukee Letting Library and today I would like to do a story time with you about pears. No, not the fruit. I'm talking about pairs of things when you have one, two things. Think of pairs of socks. Socks are a pair where they're really similar to each other. But what's a pair called when the two things are really different from each other? Maybe like hot and cold or happy and sad. Do you know what those pairs are called? They're called opposites. That's right. So for our first rhyme today, we're going to sing about opposites. Let's start by holding our arms out really, really wide, as big as you can. So we're going to start big. And do you know what the opposite of big is? Small. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Nicely done, friends. Good job with all those opposites. Should we go read a book about pears now? Let's do it. Our book today is called Another by Christian Robinson. What do you think that title could mean? Another. Well, let's think. If we have one thing and then another thing, that's two. Do you see two of anything on this cover? I see two cats. One is wearing a red collar and one is wearing a blue collar. Another. This book is a little bit different from a lot of the story time books that we read. This one doesn't have any words. It's a wordless book. How do you think we read a story that doesn't have words? That's right. We look at the pictures and figure out the story from the pictures. So let's look at the picture on this page. What do you see? I see a girl sleeping in bed, a cat looking out the window, and a little red toy mouse. On this page, there's a hole in the wall. Where did that come from? The cat sees the hole, but the girl is still asleep. Hey, who's coming out of the hole? Another cat. There's the cat with the blue collar. The cat with the red collar looks surprised. Hmm, I'd be surprised too if a hole opened up in my bedroom wall. The girl's still sleeping. <gasps> looks like she might be waking up. I see that she has one eye open. And the blue cat is playing with the mouse. The red cat does not look happy. What might happen next? The blue cat took the mouse into the hole and the red cat is chasing it. The girl is definitely awake now. She's looking through the hole after the cats. What do you think she sees? What's through the hole? Do you think she's going to follow them? Would you follow them? This must be the other side of the hole. Do you see the cats anywhere? No, me neither. There's the girl. She looks a little funny. Her hair is sticking straight up. That doesn't look quite right. Let's flip the book upside down and see what it looks like then. That's better. She was upside down and her hair was falling down, not sticking up. She sees the cat. It's going through another hole. How will she get down? What did she do? It looks like she took the blanket off her bed and is using it to climb down to get to the other hole. She made it. And now she's going to follow her cat somewhere else. 
what do you think could be on this other side of this hole? Hmm, this page doesn't look quite right either. Should we try flipping it again? Get a different perspective? That's better. What do you see on this page? Lots of steps. The cats are chasing each other down the steps. And look what's coming out of the hole at the bottom of the steps. A lot of colorful balls. We better find out what's on the other side of that one. Oh, wow, a ball pit. That is fun. Oh, she looks like she's having a pretty good time. There go the cats. What is this? It looks like maybe a conveyor belt. I bet it's spinning around and around, and if you step on it, it would take you from one hole over to the next one. The red cat is looking around for the blue cat. Do you see the blue cat? On the bottom of the conveyor belt. They'll never find it there. Look at all the kids on this page. What are they all doing? Looks like they're playing, yeah. And something that I notice is that all of the kids have another kid who looks just like them. Like, look at the two kids hula hooping. They both have blonde hair and are wearing striped pajamas. Or I see two kids with long hair and glasses drawing. What other pairs of kids do you see? Yeah, everyone has a pair or a twin, except for the girl with the cat. Maybe she'll find her twin on the next page. Is her twin on this page? No, I don't think so. I don't see the other cat either. One fun thing I noticed about the pairs of, of kids is that while they look really similar, there's something a little bit different about each of them. So look at the two girls jump roping. One of them has a red dress and one of them has a green dress on. What differences can you see in the pairs of kids? I still don't see the girl's twin or the other cat. Where do you think they could be? Hey, there's the girl's twin <gasps> and the blue cat with the mouse. They finally found each other. The girls don't see each other yet. Now they see each other and they look happy. They're both smiling. So what are the differences between these two kids? Yeah, the first girl has a red planet on her shirt, just like her cat has a red collar. And the second girl has a blue planet on her shirt, just like her cat has a blue collar. The girl with the blue planet on her shirt is taking the mouse away. What do you think she's going to do with it? She's tossing it back to the red cat. Yay, it will finally get its toy back. It looks pretty happy. What about the blue cat? How do you think the blue cat feels? Bye-bye, they're waving. Do you think they'll be able to find each other again soon? I hope so. Ah, the girl is back in bed. That looks cozy. I bet she's tired after that big adventure. And that cat sure looks happy to have its mouse back. The hole's closed. The girl's back asleep. Looks just like at the beginning of the book. I see something different in this picture. Look under the bed. What do you see? A blue mouse. Who do you think that blue mouse belongs to? Mm. I love that book. Can you believe that cat had the mouse hidden under the bed the whole time? Yeah, me neither. How sneaky. For our goodbye song today, we're going to be saying goodbye in opposite ways. So first we're gonna say goodbye really loud. You wanna practice? Goodbye! 
And then we're gonna say goodbye the opposite of loud. What's the opposite of loud? Quiet. So we're gonna say goodbye. Oh, I couldn't even hear you. So here we go with our goodbye song. It goes like this, you can go ahead and clap along too. Bread and butter, toast and jam. Let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye. And now, quiet. Bread and butter, toast and jam. Let's say goodbye as quiet as we can. Goodbye. Just the tiniest little whisper. Let's try again with fast and opposite fast, slow. Bread and butter, toast and jam. Let's say goodbye as fast as we can. Goodbye, goodbye, so fast. Next, slow. Bread and butter, toast and jam. Let's say goodbye as slow as we can. Goodbye. So slow. I think that's how a turtle would say goodbye. All right, friends. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.